Hello, kids. Uh, I'm back again. Uh, we're gathered here today to congratulate the anthropomorphic fiend on gaining more than 400 subscribers. Uh, he's probably up to 500 by now. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's decided to do a little contest, uh, which is often uh, what people do when they hit milestones like this. Uh, and he has uh, a few questions for uh, me to answer. And I'll just go right into it. Uh, uh, first one is a uh, favorite horror film that uh, takes place in a school. It doesn't need to be entirely in the school. It might be in on and off. I'm going for a campus uh, movie. Uh, 1962's movie uh, uh, Burn Witch Burn which is also known as uh, Night of the Eagle. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm really kind of a sucker for, you know, 1960s black and white British uh, horror. That's really kind of the bottom line here. Plus, I mean, it's a very good movie. Uh, a college professor suspects his uh, wife of, of dabbling in witchcraft. You know, that's the basic uh, uh, premise of the movie. Uh, plus, it's it comes from a period where I just love the quality of black and white photography. Um, I think it's the best... Uh, time period uh, like uh, some 50s on into the 60s and like I said I'm, I'm sucker for uh, uh, that type of movie uh, uh, from uh, the 60s black and white and also British doesn't need to be British but that will help uh, the next one is a favorite phantom of the opera now uh, i'm not sure what uh year this one comes from but and i hate to repeat what's already been said i mean uh sean patrick urshan uh, from the horror corner uh yeah he uh, he picked the uh hammer version of uh a fan of the opera. I think the main reason why I uh, picked that is that it's the first uh, version of the uh, story that I ever seen. Uh, the next one would have been Phantom of the Paradise, and I wouldn't have recognized the uh, that storyline uh, unless it was for the Hammer version, uh, which stars uh, Herbert Holm as the Phantom. Uh, yeah, it's very uh, rich Technicolor, uh, and once again, it it, it uh, looking it up, uh, I found out it's is a '60s film, but this is yeah, you know, this is color, but yeah, it's the '60s was very rich with horror films. I mean, people seem to stop at the '80s. They, this, the 60s is just overflowing far more than the 80s with incredible work. And this is one of them. Okay. Now I'm going for the uh, two YouTubers who don't have enough uh, uh, subscriptions, uh, subscribers. Uh, the first one. I'm most, I mean, he has a pretty healthy amount, but uh, I would figure it'd be over a thousand by now. And that is uh, Sean Urshan. Uh, I'm going to have a link below me. Uh, yeah, he does reviews. He's a big horror, uh, Hammer fan like me. 
Uh, his favorite horror movie is uh, Halloween. He he does. And we don't always agree. And the other one, uh, the other YouTuber, we don't always agree. But I find his their con both content very good. And the, and you know this is Sean Patrick Urshan from the Horror Corner. Uh, his channel isn't called Horror Corner, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's he's a very good one. And now for the second one, that would be the Q's reviews. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember the, the guy's name that uh, you know runs this. He doesn't have it in his on his page. Uh, but yeah, it's is what it is. It is what is described. This is a, a fellow that. Uh, Reviews does a lot of reviews, uh, good content. I mean, we're we're talking about both uh, Sean and Mister Q. <laughs> uh, very down to earth uh, reviews, just regular people doing reviews. People who love the genre and jo genre films in, in general. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, and he's he's also has done his own. Uh, uh, one of these, but uh, yeah, I think that I think I'm hoping that that's uh, fills out the criteria for uh, this little project. Uh, until next time, say stay, say stay safe, <laughs> and have a good time.